Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Perinology Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all the top three stocks that all of you should be keeping in your watch list for today. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of last night's video, right after the intro. All right, y'all, before we begin again, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always, all right? Let's get started right off the bat, the market right now. Yesterday, again, for all of you who watched today's video, I, I told y'all, should you panic? Mm, no, not really, not yet. My thoughts and opinions may change today. Well, today is today. And right now, we're not we're not looking too good. Um, as soon as you reach 4,100, um, people are taking their money off the table. I should tell you that today today might not be a day for you to be aggressive to the long side. I don't I don't think you should be aggressive to the long side. I think best case scenario you should be more like on the sidelines because these stocks that I'm about to share with y'all are not very uh, not very bullish. All right, not very bullish right now. But let's let's get started. Let's get into the video. The first stock that we're gonna talk about in this video that stock is. Pinterest, all right, and Pinterest has been going for quite some time now, right? Very, very bullish action. Again, for all of you who have been able to like catch this move, congratulations, all right? But what I'm here to tell you is that you should be really, really, really careful because this thing looks like it's about to tumble over, which means that there could be an opportunity for short sellers today if today is indeed a red day as i feel like it would be if the market corrects and we see like a negative 0.50 percent move then pinterest could drop all the way down to like 81 dollars. so i'm definitely watching this stock to the short side especially given the fact that it's been like climbing all the way up to previous levels of resistance so um be very very careful for those of y'all who are holding calls on these stocks don't get too greedy manage your risk and recognize when the short sellers are about to take over all right just just in case yes i'm just telling you all this so that's the first one that you should be keeping on your watch list the next one that you should be keeping in your watch list for today that stock is paypal all right and paypal looks like it wants to collapse a little bit so this one also same concept we want this one to actually tank all the way down to 255 again if the market rolls over and if this plays out really really well it had a monstrous move people want to take their money off the table it's friday and right now it's just not looking too bullish at the moment so be very very careful and keep your eyes open for the short selling opportunities for those of you who have no idea how to make money to the downside you just buy puts these are the the puts is to make money on the way down but you have to be very very patient and, st and strategic about it so i'm looking on at this thing to make money on the way down all right so that's my very honest opinion of paypal now the last stock that we're going to be talking about in this video well third stock for today um that stock is hd all right and hd has been climbing up well so far um it's been a great stock for us it's been performing really really well and right now it's consolidating and i do know that short sellers are trapped in here right not not a good place to be a short seller and right now the more it consolidates the higher the likelihood of it to actually continue higher all right i know what the market looks iffy and might it, it seems like it wants to collapse but this stock is pretty strong this is like one of your um it's, it's pretty strong this stock right here so keep this one on your watch list for a potential short squeeze i'm waiting for that level to just pop that right there all right so that is the third stock for today and this one again is for day trading only all right because if it pops right people who are trading that squeeze will take their money off the table and if you're stuck there 
with your calls, you might be caught in a green to red move, which would be like aggravating, of course. So just pay attention to that. Keep that in mind as you're trading. Now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. Um, somebody has been asking about, somebody asked me about AMAT, A-M-A-T. Now A-M-A-T, it's very, very tricky. I'm being very, very patient with this one. It's extended, right? I'm watching it with a bearish lens. Um, I'm trying to see exactly what, which way is going to go. I'm more, I'm, I'm leaning more towards the short side, leaning towards, even though I wanted to spike and go all the way over here, right? Before I actually go in short without hesitation or remorse, right? But right now it's just, it's not looking too great. And also given the market circumstances, it might just fall like very, very soon. So to the people who bought like the YOLO calls, just manage your risk accordingly. Because if, if it falls, then we could see like 131, 130 very, very soon. All right. So, so just keep that in mind. The market is weird right now. Very, very weird. And like I said, Today is not a good day to be uh, to be very aggressive to the long side, right? It's a day to be more conservative and to look for shorting opportunities and to risk less money because we had a good run. Like the market ran for like two weeks now and a pullback is, it would be good. It's a healthy thing for the market to pull back a little bit. That way long-term investors can buy the dip at the bottom, all right? So yeah that's my very honest opinion of amat be, be very very careful with this one um the next one that we're going to be addressing in this video somebody asked me to do a review of um peloton and peloton i told y'all i think it was like two videos ago about how i hated this bar sideways trading well it actually gapped up and then popped and it had a pretty solid day right now it's not quite at 130. this one is a it's a pretty strong stock. It's a growth stock. It pulled back again. The market pulls back. It's not going to go anywhere. It's probably going to stay in this region between 123 and 120 for a while before like continue back up to 30. Kind of like what um, Visa did. And Visa again, Visa did perfectly well. It's literally right in the middle here. And this is, this is the part where I tell you to take some money off the table. Like this, it, it did exactly what we wanted right after our doji. It went right to like 321, 322. It's perfect. It's right in the middle. Don't get greedy, okay? Take some money off. Pay yourself. It's all, it's all right. It's all right. That, it's, it's okay. Pay yourself some. It's right in the middle. Where is it going to go next? Honestly, I have no idea. And honestly, I don't really care either. It did exactly what I wanted to do and that's good enough for me. Um, the next one that uh we're going to be addressing in this video that stock is netflix and netflix currently also had a pretty solid day and again this stock follows the market the overall market i don't have too high expectations of netflix right now there isn't any like bullish news that came out regarding netflix and again um do not get greedy with this one. It had a solid day, that one and Amazon and all of these stocks. So pay yourself and don't be surprised to see this thing drop. Don't be surprised, all right? I'm just here to tell y'all exactly what's on my mind and telling y'all the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So be very, very careful today. It, it, it's not gonna be too fun, all right? And that is my... Uh, that is my very honest opinions on these stocks and that is the end of the video again do not forget to annihilate and destroy the like button for the youtube algorithm as always it helps the channel a lot and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well also if you are new to the channel definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on these pre-market analysis videos which are released every single morning before market opens and the post-market analysis videos which are released every single day in the afternoon if you're not following us on social media you can find me at paul and guma and at pedonology lab on instagram and on twitter and lastly if all of this is brand new to you if you're interested in getting started in the stock market 
I left some step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step 1 to step 3. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get 2 free stocks after setting up with Weibo valued up to $1,850 using my very first link in the description below. Once again ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Patternology Lab where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, right? Again, be very, very careful out there. And most importantly, most importantly, have fun. Enjoy the outro.